Well, we're here at RV Base Camp in Arizona. Getting our first big rain that I've ever seen. We got lightning popping all around us and uh, little pieces of hail. Oh, there's my water bottle. It's nice and cold. Ooh, what a mess. I gotta put that up. Y'all see the hail? Felix wanted it to rain. Hope he's happy. Felix is helping the babies hunt. This is like their own private playground, jungle gym. Get him, Chuck. <laughs> hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Mm hmm. me I'm doing okay even my nose is a little bit better thought I might catch you up on some things uh, a lot of people have been writing me and asking me well how's red the geo tracker well I believe I've got it in a good shop uh, the guy called me back after I took taken it down there and he had worked me up an estimate of uh, almost $1,100 to replace the uh, head gasket on it. Um, that's with uh, new gaskets, new water pump, new timing set, all that kind of stuff. And uh, Martini's wanting to get in my lap. Hey, everybody. <laughs> but uh, what else is going on? So I hadn't heard back from him. He said, uh, if the head isn't damaged on it, then, um, then that would be the price. He hadn't even got into the air conditioning yet. But uh, I feel a lot better about this shop than I did the last. My hummingbird feeder has been awful busy today. It goes right around, she goes around and looks at me. So you can't see me back here, right? I've got about five now that's found me anyway a lot of people got angry at me for not um, telling what shop I used in Sholo and I did consider it but most of you guys don't live here and there's really nothing good that would come out of it um, their quality of work and customer service will catch up with them um, I don't need 60 or 70,000 people calling up there and uh, and giving them a hard time whether they deserve it or not That's just not that's just not how I am But uh, it has been raining here at RV base camp. Let me tell you what up, baby oh. Hey, tuck, tuck. hey, man, you, you know the paint's coming off the floor, right? I knew it could happen tuck. Yeah, it is coming off my friends, Craig and Sandra, I cannot find my uh, my mic this morning or this afternoon. My friends, Craig and Sandra, have been here for a few days. These are the people that let me put the purple tiny house at their property up in New Mexico. It, it feels good that uh, I can return the favor just a little bit uh, by letting them stay here with me. Uh, they really like it here. They like the view. And... Uh, he said, it's, it's a lot more convenient than what I thought it would be. I'm like, right? I'm about 20 miles from two different Walmarts. So you can't beat that. But I have to tell you what these babies have got into. Yep, yep, yep. Let's set you right down there for a minute, martinis. 
Um, the babies were over here barking at this wall pretty good the other day. Now I'm letting Craig and Sandra use my power. So uh, I've got a couple solar panels out here running my Oops uh, solar generator and that's running my house. But uh, this is like the baby's uh, personal jungle gym right outside here. And they spend hours hunting lizards and bugs and mice out here. Getting a lot of good exercise. And Martini's hips seem to be better. Oh, be careful, baby. Uh, now that she's doing all this kind of uh, climbing and everything. And I give her dog, doggy dailies too to help her with her, uh, her joints and stuff. I sure hope this wind isn't bad. I've spent the last hour, I spent the last hour looking for my microphone. I think I left it in the tracker. It's the only place I hadn't looked. But um, I was sitting right here and Felix was sitting pretty much about right here. And uh, these monkeys, they got really quiet. Then all of a sudden, I look over at Felix and he starts yelling, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I look down right here and the three babies, there was a snake coiled up right here, coiled up right here. And Tucker, Martini, and Baby May May were standing in the coils of the snake. This true story, I'm not adding to or taking away. I jumped up and headed off the porch, but I jumped up too quick. And I got real dizzy stepping off my steps here. I had to use my, my, my block for something else. I gotta rebuild, I got, I'm gonna build me a little porch right here, a little ramp or steps. And by the time I got down there, the world was spinning. And I started yelling and screaming. And as I was stepping down, I looked over and baby May May went right up to the snake and touched its nose to its nose. Now, I didn't know what kind of snake it was at the time. Thankfully, it wasn't a rattler. But uh, after the babies were safe, I shot this little clip right here. What we got going on? <laughs> a snake? Freaking snake. Yeah, there the, you go. The, babies, the babies were after it. But if y'all look real close, it's a good snake. Yeah. He ain't got no rattles. Don't mean he won't bite. Beautiful too. Man, oh man, oh man. You just keep going, buddy. Now those will kill the rattlesnakes. I hear they don't like traveling on the cinders, but there they go. Woo. The babies were all around him. He was, he was drew about like he's going to strike them. I like to pass out. Scare me so bad. Beautiful. Yeah, if he ain't getting rattlers, he's getting rats, so we'll leave him alone. How's your heart going? <laughs> it was like five feet of man and I look and I said, the dog oh! <laughs> and the dogs were all around it. May May was right up right face to face. <laughs> Cause uh I saw Martini, Martini went and then Mamie came straight to it. So I said, hey! It wasn't scared a bit. See, you got, you got no, your, she you wasn't got, scared you got your she weapon, right? What it was. You got your weapon? This is a snake handle. And right. in case the snake bothers me. All right. You know. There you go. Thank you, my friend. Man, that thing scared the shit out of me. Now, as far as I know, that's the baby's first real encounter with a snake that I've been witness to. It came close a time or two, but that was the worst. And everybody gets on to me for, uh, you know, not watching my babies. What Felix and I were both sitting right here. They were playing with the intent. Well, they were five feet away. And they were all just curious 
looking at the snake and smelling the snake. If it had been a rattlesnake, it would have probably got one or two of them before I could have got them off of it. And no, I don't have the rabies vaccine. I'm not going to get it to them. They're, uh, they're so little. If they were to get bit, I don't see how it would really help them. Big dog, 80, 90, 100 pounds. I think that kind of dog would stand a chance, but not these babies. And it's not that I don't love them, because I do. But uh, as I keep telling everybody on the channel, I let my dogs be dogs. And uh, end of this year, Martini will be 11. And Tucker and, and baby May May, they'll be nine. And look at the places we've gone and look at all the things we've done we've we've done yeah that's right <laughs> tell them dad tell them safety is an illusion it really doesn't truly exist but uh oh they see something but i'm hoping to make uh the years count and uh and do a little living Now, Charlie is Craig and Sandra's little Yorkie. Yorkie or Yorkie mix? Don't know. I don't know, and it don't matter. He's a sweet sucker. Hey, Charlie, don't pee on my chair. Come here, buddy. Come here, Charlie. He comes up here every day to see me a couple times. Come here. You can do it. Come on. Come here, Charlie. Come here, Charlie. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. He doesn't have a voice yet. He's just a fuzzy, just a fuzzy sweet dog. Just a fuzzy sweet dog. I'm showing everybody my bad paint on the floor here. Yeah. He's good friends with Wolfpack. Me too. Charlie, have you seen my microphone? No? So we have five dogs here at RV Base Camp now. <laughs> plus the, plus the neighbor's dog that, neighbor's dogs that, uh, ramble through that's the only thing that scares me worse than snakes because uh these most well every one of these dogs has been through here you know people just don't keep them up this is the country they let their dogs roam i get it if i didn't have little dogs i wouldn't really care but uh, that's the biggest danger to the wolf pack that uh that i think personally are the the bigger wandering dogs but uh, we keep a close eye on them, do the best we can do. That's really an effective step, but I'll do something better. Tuck, you tell everybody goodbye. See you later, that kind of stuff. That boy, he watches me, he watches my eyes. He don't miss nothing. He, he can, I, I, I can read you like a book, man. Just, 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 just try me, just try me. Good boy, Tuck. Good boy, Tuck. So by tomorrow, I should have some definitive answers on uh, the tracker repair. Everything's going good. Uh, hope you're doing good. But uh, I'm going to end this video, this little video, where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. See you next time. Bye-bye. I hope there wasn't any wind noise. Forgive me if it was. I got a new one on order in case I can't find the old wind muff microphone. Bye.